the 17th of August 2013. UFC Fight Night 26. A time before a persistent Conor McGregor news, when the young Dubliner was still cutting his teeth and dreaming of six-figure payouts. McGregor faced off against Max Holloway that night after Andy Ogo pulled out. It was a big win that backed up his dramatic debut earlier that year. The fight ended in a unanimous decision and McGregor would go on to become the controversial phenomenon that he is. Despite not featuring in an MMA bout since 2016 McGregor just can't escape from the headlines, not that he wants to. Last night, Holloway emerged to defeat Jose Aldo in a dominant performance during UFC 218. His strike power proved too much for Aldo in a fight that signaled the definite changing of the guard Max Holloway picks apart Jose Aldo at the end of round 3 for his 12th straight win UFC 218 pick. Twitter.com 3256 year Oz, Rob Lopez at Arobato December 3, 2017 While still inactive, it looks like McGregor was paying attention. I miss those sunglasses. Pick.twitter.com 0-7-U-9-D-M-4-Y, Conor McGregor at The Notorious Ma December 3, 2017 Holloway was kicked to respond. Miss the sunglasses? I bet you also missed 2015 brother. Retired fighters love the past. Pick.twitter.com Unge 2 Key, Max Holloway at Blessed Ma December 3, 2017 The jeer was a tad unnecessary from McGregor, given Holloway recently expressed sympathy with the McGregor's current situation. While there has been a lot of talk about a possible matchup against Tony Ferguson, it is not unfeasible to imagine a rematch with Holloway for McGregor. Perhaps a return to the octagon would serve McGregor best right now. Despite Dana White casting doubts over whether he would ever fight again, McGregor remains the biggest name in UFC and the focus of a training camp could be beneficial. See also watch Francis Ngannou announces UFC arrival with brutal one-punch co of Alistair Overeem.